As you can see here, they provide you with a pin, a little lock. Obviously, you could get some sort of trailer lock so nobody steals your carrier, but I haven't had too much of an issue. And so this is just a standard square tube, two inch receiver. Let's go ahead and pull this pin out and slide that out. And one thing I forgot to show in the other video is it also comes with this hitch stabilizer. So as you can see, there's two bolts. You're gonna need a drill or just a wrench. And then as you slide that in, you put the locking pin in, and then you also set this here. So part of it is gonna rest on your square tube hitch receiver and the other part is gonna touch the motorcycle carrier. Then from here, you would tighten down those two bolts to no more than 20 foot-pounds. Another thing that's great about this carrier is it's pretty low to the ground, so I don't have a ton of upper body strength, as well as I'm not very tall, but this, I really don't have a problem loading it or unloading it. I'd say the most difficult part is just getting the rocking momentum to get this to pivot back over to the other side. And then from there, you just back it down. Uh, obviously, you start the bike and use the clutch and the engine to get it up. And then to get it down, just use the front hand brake or the foot brake. Another thing to note, Harbor Freight offers more of a dirt bike oriented one uh, that carries less weight, but then they also have the street bike one. I went for the street bike because I have a street bike as well as a dirt bike. But one issue that I've noticed is when I'm loading or unloading the bike, uh, mostly unloading, as you can see, this is just a metal surface. So when it's wet or sandy or dusty or dirty, um, as you're unloading and you lock your front tire, the bike just slides down, which is not a big issue. But if you had a big adventure bike, I mean, you could have an issue, but always just have a friend help you unload if possible. Turn on your parking brake. It'll give you a little more stability. That's just one thing to be aware of. So the way it works, as you can see, there's two little bolts here, one on each side. Then they give you a rubber washer, a metal washer, a wing nut, and then a little clip. Um, and that will secure the ramp on there. Then the ramp just has two little notches that go into here. Um, and that way you can obviously load and unload the bike. They don't provide you any holes in this part of the ramp, so you have to unload it from that side. Then back here they provide you some red and white stickers, um, just for better visibility. And from here, this piece just secures on. That'll always hold the front tire. And from here, depending on your bike or I guess the diameter of your wheel, um, you have the option to scoot this in. And what this does is it teeter-totters. So as I drive up over this, this will fold this way to lock the bicycle or the front wheel in place. So that's the right setting for my dual sport. But I think I would have to scoot it back one notch if I'm going to be hauling my street bike. Then, as you can see, there's going to be four of these. One, two, three, and four. The other two. And these are the points where you can tie down the bike. And so, obviously, the two front ones are probably most important. Then I always run one from here to the handle on the back of the bike, as well as here to the handle on the back of the bike. And this unit does work fine in the street, but one issue I faced also, if I'm on a really rocky, um, bumpy road, and sometimes the suspension can flex hard enough, where one of the things will come undone. But that front piece up there really does help keep the bike pretty stable. And another thing, if you are going in, in and out of ruts, uh, obviously try to avoid those, but this whole thing just kind of flexes and your bike can definitely come out pretty easy. So that's one downside. Um, obviously I could tie it down a little better. Um, I don't do it too tight because I'm not trying to blow out my front shocks or the suspension on the motorcycle. So maybe there's a better way. One thing that this states is, this is a 1999 Toyota 4Runner, and I think I have like a Kurt hitch that I bolted on myself. Um, the tongue weight is 500 pounds, and the issue I see with this is I believe this motorcycle can carry 5 to 600 pounds, so I'll have to double check. But one thing that concerns me is if I'm carrying a 473 pound motorcycle, which is what mine claims it weighs on mine, and then this unit here, I'll get the exact weight, but I believe it's anywhere from 15 to, you know, 40 pounds. We're right at that 500 mark, so that really is a lot of pressure up on that tongue weight for the hitch. And so one thing that might be beneficial is to maybe run some sort of strap from here to like the roof rack of the vehicle, but I would not feel safe or comfortable towing exactly at that 500 pound mark. I'm sure we could do it, but if you hit a really hard bump or something, I, I feel this would bend or maybe snap if it's old and rusty. Uh, this is all pretty brand new, so I, I honestly just think it would bend. But if I do get into that situation where I have to tow a really heavy bike, I'm going to run a ratchet strap around this unit and tie it to my roof rack on the car. It might bend the roof just a hair, but I think it'll help take a lot of that tongue weight off. 